going to edit the YouTube VOD to start here for part two of this game um, because we didn't really do too much. We literally just went back to the statue and that's it. I scared myself a few times and that's it. Hello, game. Just a bit longer. I'll get you out, I promise. See, I was waiting for these guys. Oh, this is a nightmare. What is this? Am I supposed to be climbing on this? No! What are you? Bro, why are you yelling at me? Do you think this is the janitor guy? Oh, hell no. Hell no, dude. Hell no. This is way too easy. This is way too easy to get this mask. I guess we don't know his name, but, oh God, damn, this is way too easy. God damn it. Where's the mirror? Oh, did you hear the music change? I'm sorry, I keep pausing, I keep getting scared. <laughs> my lotion I should have put my like anti-sweat lotion on <laughs> oh. oh yeah okay which one's the sprint okay that one oh, sorry I'm trying to remember dude this room is way too big hell no dude Hell no. Some sort of a conference There's an anti-sweat lotion? <laughs> yes. Yes, there is. There is anti- I have it. I just don't know where it is right now. Yeah, you can buy- um, oh, That's my hand cream. Where is it? I'm a little concerned that I don't know where it is. I bet it's over here somewhere. It's probably under my desk. Um, yes, yeah, so there is. The answer is yes. Um, you have to use it for an extended period of time for it to start working, but um, I've always been overly conscious of my hands just sweating a lot, and so yeah. I looked it up, and there is indeed a fix. I gotta go. The voting's about to start. You know what they say: if you're early, you're on time. It's super neat. I no, like I it mean right a lot. Now. I can hear them gathering across the hallway. Yeah, yeah, I'll let you know how it went. That voice. That's the guy. These halls are way too big. Fuck this, man. Why do I do this to myself? I bet the name I'm looking for is still on this page. But which one is it? Chairman, what? Okay, absent, present, absent, present, present. I can hear everyone in the other room. So it's probably Waldemar or Aunt Anthony because they came in late. That would be my guess. Oh, 07? Wait, did he say what number he needed to say? Oh, 05. Oh, 09, I can hear something going on over here. I can't believe they sat me across from Boris. Okay, across from Boris. He He's just a sexist pig for all I care. And late, as always. Yeah, 
Okay, wait, so we can figure out where Boris sat, I assume. And he sat across. Okay, Boris. Hold on. Boris sat in seat nine. And this was. What was this? Seven. Five. Nine. Okay, he sat across from Boris, which would be this one. Four. Which would mean his name is Nicholas. Okay, now that I have the information, can I leave? Do I have to examine all the chairs? Like, she usually has some sort of, like, revelation. I'm just going to examine all the chairs just in case because I don't want to wander back and forth. Two. What? I just clicked on that one. One. Okay. Well, I know that his name is Nicholas. This room is too big. All of this. All of this. Sorry, I'm just trying to make sure I remember how to do stuff. Sometimes the music gets too intense for me. Okay, we gotta go down. Bring it around the town. I think the music's just on a looping track and it's like part of the loop that scares me. Please stop. Hey! I was right. This is where it's gonna get bad. I'm so scared. That's true. Where's our bro? Oh, okay. I'm going to for the clippers. Okay. Oh, whole bitch. Mr. Rukovitz is being unreasonable, to put it mildly. I'm a nurse, not a nanny. I understand that he needs someone to keep an eye on her, but I have my hands full as it is. Even putting aside all my other duties, there's poor Mr. Tarkovsky to take care of. Still, I try doing my best. At least the girl's quiet, keeps to herself mostly, likes talking to her imaginary friends, but I figure it's quite normal for someone her age. Sometimes I can hear her playing out full of conversations and I swear it sounds like two people talking. She's really gifted. Guess it runs in the family. Uh, uh. I'm scared to pick up the bolt cutters because like I feel like something's gonna happen. Okay, yeah, no, I'm gonna go pick up the bolt cutters. I <laughs> Oh god, nothing happened. Oh, fucking th fuck you. Oh, Jesus Christ. Hello, my love. It's your favorite nurse. Are you in there? Even these 
respect that you lost? I hope so. Because I want you to feel. This is a terrible game to play late at night. I mean, it's good, but terrible. Go to her first. But why? It has to be like her Pride proximity to Tarkovsky. That thing had been there. It was where it made its first food. Where it tasted death. And lifeless. Ooh. Make sure there's nothing. Alright. I know I'm supposed to go. I know I'm supposed to go back the other way. Actually, I don't know where I'm supposed to go. I just realized. Do I have a map? Nope. That's beautiful. I'm so scared. Oh. So worth it. I love them bolt cutters. I love you bolt cutters as well, but also like why are you talking? There's this crazy really tall dude that's trying to murder us right now, and I need you to get with the program. Did I swear to god, this woman gets us in this mess? is doing nothing to get us out of this mess besides making lots of noise and talking to herself. I guess I'm kind of talking to myself. It's different. Tire sounds like a spell name. Bolt cutters. <laughs> Bolt cutters. <laughs> I do like that. Was it all I'm saying? Like in a movie you don't use your real name for. Yeah. All I'm, saying, name it is. all I'm saying is that she's the one that jumped into this place after I explicitly said, I don't think you should do that. I actually think I'm supposed to be going this way, to be honest with you. We're just going to go this way. Because I think it's up and to the left. Oh shit, do I need to go through? Oh, that one's broken. Okay. Oh, it's a left. This way? This is the third time I've used these bolt cutters. Damn. They really be making useful. Or making use of themselves. Okay, last time we saw the bad guy, he was, like, in this room. Oh, no, he wasn't. He was in the room next to it. So, just to... Just to scare myself more. Okay. Let's see what sadness one is made to. Nope, she's all right. This is bad news, bears. Run, bitch. Family time. Holidays in the country. Oh, no, apparently this room is safe. Okay. I remember the playroom is like the only safe area or something like that. Bolt cutters again? Fourth time? Jesus. All right. Is that how bolt cutters work? I feel like you just squeeze them really hard until they work. I don't think you're supposed to just tap it. Oh, that, the game definitely didn't just cut there. Oh, sh okay, it's cutscene. I'm safe. I mean, she's not safe, but I'm safe from making decisions. Oh no, we're doing the whole split thing. Oh god, okay. There you are. My god. You were all right. I was so worried. Oh yeah. That thing almost got me. Of my friends. Your friends? Only one way left. 
Oh, no. 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 It, it'll eat you, too. It, j just like the others. I won't let it hurt you, I promise. Oh, the ball's floating in the real world. That's weird. don't want to see him. What? Why not? What, what do you remember? No. Don't tell her. No, it, it's don't okay. Tell you don't have to tell me. But you should still come with me so that I can keep you safe. No. No, Marianne. If that no, doesn't... Never again. Why did you... Why didn't you? It was then I realized there was something she wanted me to see. With my own eyes. Oh God. Okay. Here we go. This stuff is nasty. Why would you do that? Why would you turn around like that? Richard? Are you there? Looks like one of those memory things. Don't you think he would be better off in a nursing home? What about his family? Richard doesn't have any family. Oh, the poor man. It's like he's somewhere else. We were close once, you know. I mean, not that close, but... All right. I'll take care of him. Crawling like a puppet, but not quite sad like a puppet. Okay, I think I'm just supposed to go this way. Um. Wait, I don't remember the, the controls for this. Hold on one second. Settings. Oops, I pressed the wrong button. Oh my lord. Oh my lord, I keep pressing the wrong button. Hold, run, shield. Okay, that's what I thought. But I don't have it loaded. Which means I have to find something else. Oh, right here. Shield music. Well, at least part of it. Okay. Excuse me. Humiliation. Rage. It became a habit of ours. We'd sit down, sketchbook at the ready, and he'd 
Then he'd close his eyes and start talking, describing all the things he saw in his mind's eye, the horror, the splendor of worlds beyond our own. What started out as an innocent exercise in imagination ultimately became a bottomless well of inspiration. My hand wouldn't dare rest, sketching furiously. So he described the indescribable. For a while, I wondered why he was so eager to share his visions with me. To him, they seemed like a burden, a source of great pain and distress. But finally, I understood. He sought to share them with someone who saw them as a source of beauty rather than madness. All right. Feels incomplete. Uh -huh. Am I supposed to be doing something here? Cause, okay, because I can't use it. Can I not disassociate or whatever? Maybe there's something else in this room. Oh, right here. Okay, I remember the first time I met him working a simple factory job. Still more of a boy than a man, wide-eyed, constantly looking over his shoulder like a scared animal. His parents had died in the Warsaw Uprising. Of what he'd gone through in the years that followed, he did not want to speak, and I never pressed him, but it soon became clear he had no one else in this world. I could immediately tell that despite his young age, he had seen things that no one his age should. I could immediately tell he was special. Okay, interesting. This room is way too big. Here's another piece of the music. Oops. Hello. Thomas, I've always been stunned by the depth and complexity of his imagination, mesmerized by the surreal dreamscapes his mind would weave, the way he described them with every minute detail it was as if he had actually witnessed all of it as if something or someone pulled the veil and allowed him to peek beyond the edges of our reality an angel a demon is there really a difference i know it didn't matter to me as his visions came alive in my on my canvas excuse me some would say i used the boy to feel my waning creativity but how could i not to let this unique perspective this bottomless well of inspiration go to waste that would be an unforgivable sin Medium is really scaring me. I'm not even messing with you. Oh, hi, Amon. Um, thanks for letting me know it was you. I have a note that tells me who's everybody's username is, but I don't have it open right now, to be honest with you. So thanks for letting me know. Um, yeah, no, the medium has been a nightmare. I keep having to pause. I've been okay. I think, like, in this area, I feel like I'm generally safe. Can I? Okay, I didn't think so. Um, because, like, I, I don't have to, well, so far that one guy hasn't shown up, but I am unfortunately, it really feels like I can go out. I'm unfortunately prepared to get chased at all times, and it's not been great. Ugh, and the noises. So I can't go in there because of the key or lack thereof. Uh, anything? Maybe I need to go back a little bit. Oh, right here. There we go. Have you played Re2 Remake? Uh, yeah, I have played that. That game is really scary. Getting chased around. Um... I mean, it's not like the scariest game I played, but that game was pretty scary. Um, 
Mr. X is a special form of horror. It's, uh, yeah. I have to say, like, I think what makes this game, so one, the atmosphere and the sounds of this game are really scary, but also, like, the camera's locked. So when you're getting chased, like, there's not, like, you can't, like, look around to try and find the monster. Like, the camera's locked in, like, one spot. It's awful. Uh, but yeah, Free 2 is pretty scary. Um, I spent a few years, you, if you like Free 2, you want more scary, I'd definitely go for uh, Resident Evil 7. If you can handle first person. Um, I spent a few years trying to steer him in the right direction, trying to make him see the depth of his potential. He kept refusing, claiming that he was no painter and that he saw our little get-togethers as therapy rather than artistic expression. Eventually, I wore him down. He agreed to enter the university, but on the condition that it would be his chosen field. And so he started on his way to becoming an architect. At first, I was rather skeptical, thinking that he was throwing away greatness for a mere competence. But deep inside, I guess I was glad to be the only one to bring his visions to life. And then he met her. Our painting sessions became few and far between. He no longer needed my help in dealing with his inner demons. Interesting. Loved Re7? Hell yeah. Didn't like Re8, though. Interesting. I really enjoyed Re8. I thought that dialogue itself was cheesy, but I enjoyed like the horror aspects of the game. Particularly the dollhouse. Look, it's a horse girl. Gather round, children. I want you to meet Lilian. The horse girl. She's going to be joining our painting class. Baby, why can't I play with my friends, Uncle Richard? Oh, that kind your of sounds like friend. Sadness's voice. Oh, Lilian, I, I promised your father you would spend some time with the other children. Yes. I will be playing Re8 this week when the third person mode comes out. I'm using it as an excuse to play again. Okay, wait, is that everything? It looks like there's something there. What are these awful noises? Do you prefer first or third person? I prefer third person immensely because I get so motion sick. I'm not even going to lie to you. So I vastly prefer third person. But I guess we'll see, like, in terms of, like, we'll see how Village plays out. <laughs> I prefer third person in almost everything. Yeah, I just, I don't, okay, the, the truth of the matter is, is that I really don't have a huge preference However, however, I I just can't deal with the motion sickness. You know what I mean? So third person is just way better so you don't have to deal with that motion sickness. But I definitely understand the purpose behind first person and like what it can bring in terms of like like a different gameplay experience so I, I like get it but also oh am I not allowed to leave what is happening oh sometimes this game man because I don't know which to focus on either oh I forgot that I can do this okay okay let's sync back up and go I bet. Uh, let's try. Okay, not here. Not there. Maybe I can go through this locked door. Let's try it. Forgot about this mechanic, to be honest with you. Actually, I didn't forget. I forgot how to do it. Oh, let's check this out really quick. Oh, perfect. Okay, that's for the globe thing. Check this out. 
What in the world? All right, I guess that's for later. Why is it not letting me focus on this? All right, we're just gonna sync back up. Dude, I could not handle this. Then I need to go, wait, my middle one, and then top one. Oh my god, this is infuriating. Okay, this one. Okay, so this is the mouth. night getting late here death turn in okay sounds good thanks for hanging out i really appreciate the visit um good luck in schooling and stuff let me know if you need anything in terms of frame by frame or actually just anything let me know have a good night Sure. Sure. That's exactly what I intended to do. I'm not gonna lie to you, this is hella nasty. Reminds me of my childhood. Yeah, at least the good parts. But the bad parts, they're always there, aren't they? You're a very smart girl. You know things. You're talk about stuck on the voice. I think it is. That's what I was saying. I think Liliana's, well, Liliana is sadness, or Lily, as he was saying. Okay, that's missing something. Oh, this is the piano. Oh, okay, I need the third piece. Okay, let's check this out. Aha. Uh -huh. uh -huh. Okay, let's break through. We're soaring, flying. Okay, I'm done now. <laughs> this is so gross.
Come on, Richard. You were always there when I needed you. Let me return the favor. Ah, uh, I don't know, Thomas. What about my work? The university? Richard, I know they picked you out. I'm guessing you finally managed to piss off the right people. Stay with us, old friend. Do it for me. For them. Yes, he was just lying there. He... Don't believe him, Mr. Eckert. I, I'm sorry. He was a friend. I just need a moment. That's not true, Thomas. Oh, <gasps> see, I called it. classical music i'm ready once he got engaged we grew apart for a while now that i think of it i guess i was jealous i no longer had him all for myself in time i warmed up to her as well she was striking both in her beauty and intellect eventually i accepted the fact that he had found true happiness true love strong and pure well as pure as it can be i guess in any case i was no longer needed when the project came along the one that would eventually be known as neva i pulled all my strings to get him what he wanted even though i knew it would drive an even bigger wedge between us i wanted the best for him he was the closest to a son i'd ever had make sure there's nothing else around here all right we already checked that okay across uh, we gotta go play the piano and then we can load up and then we can go through that moth area I think. Making sure. All right, this button. Just a what in the world? Just a moment. What in the world? You're fine. That definitely looks. Oh my god, that is a giant hand outside. Oh no. Please, no. Oh my god. This game is the worst. Uncle Richard, my arms are getting tired. You've been drawing me for hours. Almost done. You know, Lily, you remind me of something. A girl I knew when I was very young. Did you love her? Yes. With a young, innocent... Ew, wait, what? The ferocity of adult lives. Richard? You didn't know you were about to die? Yeah, thank you. Slight hint of 
Maybe I read that dialogue wrong or listened to that dialogue wrong, but I felt like a slight hint of um, me pedophilia or something. I don't know. Aren't you a bit old to be playing with dolls? Here, I bought it especially for you. Uncle Richard. Here, let me. Um, on the other hand, why don't you do it yourself? It seems bad. No, I didn't mean to. Oh God! Did he murder her? What have I done? Oh no, is he the bad guy? What have I done? <laughs> I'm scared to hit back. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh my lord. Dude, the hands in the background. Oh, you're gonna have me sit? Never stop trying to oh, okay, I thought she was gonna sit in it. Oh, yep, she is. This is a bad idea. I just want you to know. For any and all records, this is a bad idea. Achieva unlocked the child eater. <laughs> Just what I like to hear. God fucking damn it. <sighs> Don't throw books. What the hell? You don't throw anything else. That's against the rules. No, I need to be sure. Do you have the same thing that we do? Something around here. You are what? Fuck. I think you might be losing his mind. Is this oh? I love how I just tried to look around. Yep. You finally decided to let me out of my cage. And only when you need my help do you supply me. I like that we get along with our alter ego thing. Just tell me what you see. Come on. Fucking specific. Hey, I'm trying to help here. Well, you know, sometimes I wonder. No, it doesn't make it easier when you keep me in the dark for so long. Thanks for that, by the way. You're welcome. Hell of a way to treat your soulmate. Your soulmate. Damn it! There's nothing here. Never leave. Really? I'm never wrong about. this I should have known better than to listen to you where what huh? 
painting. <laughs> what is this? Oh no. Is this like her dad? Because the other guy was her uncle? Frankie's obsessed. Oh my god, was I right? What is this? That's true. Oh my god, what is behind him? Oh, it's just a mark on the wall. Oh my god. He was like a father to me. Oh, interesting. This is the guy that fell in love and left. I told you we couldn't trust anyone but ourselves. Keep it together. Think. He gonna let him his soul kill the other soul? This has to be a pedophilia thing. There's no way now. Like this is too many weird vibes. And they're being very non-specific about it, which I mean they have to be, but. I feel like I'm right, especially with the child eater thing. I just can't tell if it's like pedophilia or just like a murderer thing. Tommy. I wasn't expecting you. Is uh, everything all right, my friend? So this is Thomas and the other guy's Richard. Did you the first person perspective. Uh, did I? What? He sounds old as shit. My 13 year old daughter. I never trusted her again. Yep, no. it has to be it. Did you do it? I, I don't. I was mistaken. Forced myself to look through it. Cover to cover. Every single fucking page. You did not know what you were doing, Richard. Thomas, please. Tell me I'm wrong, Richard. Tell me, and I'll let you go. I it wasn't me. Thomas, you have to understand. Does he have an alter ego thing too? Inside of me. Shut up. Oh. Solid punch. You have to believe me. I wanted to die. I'll make it quick. Thomas, I'm so sorry. She's my daughter. Okay, it can't be a murder thing because because he's saying she's my daughter is in present tense. So she's alive. Knowing what she means to me. Thomas, I, I swear, I'll go away. You'll never. Wait, fuck you. No, let me out. Let me out. Let me in. Yeah. 
do. Oh, tentacle creature. Oh, Jesus, that scared me. Looks like we might skip through or switch to. Might switch to gameplay here. Yep. Free Richard from his demons. All right, Richard. Tentacle creature in the bag. Started, Richard. Friendship broken. Made you what you are. Press and hold B just before the hit to counter attack. Terrible happened here. It changed Richard forever. No! What the hell? Leave her alone! Ah, the girl he was talking about. Richard's great ugly secret. That Lily reminded him of. Father's knife. Richard, your father forgot his knife. You better go and bring it to him. <sighs> All right. Oh. This way? Oh, excuse me. Father, you forgot your knife. Oh, thank you, Richard. You know what? Why don't you keep it? It's your lucky knife. And now it's yours. You'll need it. I'm leaving tomorrow. What? No! Okay. That scared me. Where are you going? The army is heading out west. And I'll be going with them. But... No! I don't want you to go! Sometimes, what we want isn't what's important. Do you understand? I... When will you come back? Take care of your mother, Richard. You're the man of the house now. I hate when people say that to kids. Okay, let me look over here really quick, bro. 
sweaters and all that. He's the same kind of notebook, but my son has in the future. Will you return to the earth in which you came from? The dust you are, the dust you will become. Jesus, bro, what is wrong with you? As government representative of the Polish Republic, I wish to offer my deepest sympathy and, and regret in regards to the passing of Lieutenant uh, Tadeusz Tarkowski, he whose loss you mourn died in the noblest of causes. This country will be forever grateful for the sacrifices he made, protecting our freedom and independence. Minister of Military Affairs. Oh shit, are we gonna get loaded up here? Press and hold. It's a cool move, it's a cool move. Oh. That's how I felt. Glad we had same feelings. Hey Richard. Yeah. Wait, I'm not but Richard. I'm me. Thomas. Right? What? Hey, wait up. Just gonna keep running. This is the slowest run I've ever seen. Here, I'll try for a little walk. Huh? Can I tell you how much this means to me? Okay, I just went in a circle for sure. Let's try going this way maybe. Interesting that they both have flower names. Over here. Hmm. There you are. I was afraid you'd get lost here. Me? I've been waiting here for ages. I was starting to get bored waiting for you. Oh. Hey. Did you see that? Richard, real cute. So, where do we go from here? That was so bright. How come this guy has unlimited shield and I don't? Mm. Something's not right. Should we try going this way?
enough. Can we load back up on that attack? This is kind of nasty. Do we go this way? No. It's kind of hard to know where to go in this game. Right, let's try going back in here. See if we can load our attack again. Oh, it doesn't look like it. Alright, that's fine. Oopsie poopsie. Maybe we'll go try talking to the tentacles on the stairs. Yeah, move. Nope. Oh, it didn't look like these stairs were clear. This is someone who can take care of himself. Well, I can take care of myself. I promised Dad I'd protect you. I know, honey, and he would be so proud of you. But sometimes, a brave heart is just not enough. Is it gonna move again? I don't trust doors anymore. No? Okay. Hey, come here. I need you to do something for me. I need you to bring me that thing. You know which one I mean. The thing that you have to bring me. Okay, well these are highlighted, but I can't interact with them, so let's keep wandering around a little bit. Oh, do I have to put the one thing down? Oh what, you want a bedtime story? Okay, so we just pick up one thing at a time then, I assume. I mean, I think the alcohol is a good guess. Oops. Gee, Carl, you drunk? Real fucking charmer, that one. Alright, it's probably not gonna be the photo. Pipe. Let's check this out. If not, no way it's the photo, right? Oh, you little shit. Oh. Ah! What the hell did you do to me? <laughs> Take me back before I'll touch you again. With his, oh, with his father's knife. Ungrateful little fuck. Get the hell away from me. Hmm. All right, can we go that way now? Now that we're done with the dialogue? Oh, yep. We can. Well, these are some strong emotions right here. I'm glad the door just opened for me. This sounds like a no! fantastic time. Dude, honestly, what is happening? Oh, the kid.
Little shit. Hmm. This place is empty. If not the same thing. Richard. It's all right. We can finish him up. Richard, where are you? Hello? Richard, come out! I'm sorry. That's all I could do. That's all right, Richard. I know how it feels. It doesn't sound like it is. Is that his father's badge thing? Ooh, that wasn't very nice. Okay, Richard, I get the picture. It doesn't change a goddamn thing. Mommy? What's going on? That sounds yeah. scary. Jesus. The hell is it? No, stay away from me. Stay know. back. Get away from me, you bastard! No. No. Is this like the stepdad or whatever? No, please don't! Collaborator. Collaborate with the oppressor. First house on the left, right next to the river, with the old cherry tree in front, they're hiding them in the pantry under the floorboards. Let them, they let them out sometimes to stretch, usually later in the day. Some of them even go out sometimes, probably looking for food. Best to come at night. What? Were they just keeping people here? Alright, well 
this isn't gonna work. I need to load up with something. Maybe over here? Commit the unforgivable crime against the motherland. Oh. oh, Jesus. Swiftly punish. That is not good. Shouldn't have happened to a nicer guy. So are they saying that they were keeping multiple people? Am I wrong? Hold on. Okay. Rose, where are you? I'm sorry. I was not paying attention. Thank God. What did he do? My god, the controls in this. How long have you been playing the medium thus far? Um, I'm about three and a half hours in ish. Um, if you are not familiar with the story um just in case you're not familiar with the story you can check out like my youtube playthrough i'll be posting this vod and the other vod is uh like the first part like for the story portion you can keep watching i'm not telling you you can't but i'm saying just in case you wanted to watch the story um my youtube channel under fabulous brianna has the first part so this is my second part of the playthrough or i can just give you a synopsis either way is totally cool with me But of course, you're more than welcome to say in hello. Bloodmore one. <laughs> All right, do we go back? Oh, there's footsteps. Okay. Synoptic would be cool. Okay, cool. Let me think. Okay, so basically you're playing as this woman named Marianne or Mariana. I can't remember. I think it's Marianne. Um, and she gets a, um, a phone call from a dude in a hotel that is abandoned. Um, and so she's like, I got to figure out what's going on because the guy was like, yo, I know what like kind of magic powers you got. And she's like, all right, well, I got to figure out why this guy knows what kind of magic powers I got. So she goes to this place. It's hella haunted. Every, it's like completely abandoned horror story synopsis like where it's like you shouldn't go in there and she not only like climbs in the hotel but she also gets into the hotel in a way that it's like there's no way back out so that's why that's where I was concerned I was like alright if you're gonna go in cool but just break the window like why are you climbing in in a way that like you can't get back out anyways that's like a whole thing so she meets this little girl ghost named um, sadness and she's trying to figure out there's Richard and Thomas and she's trying to figure out what happened to all the people there and there was a bunch of murders that happened in this hotel and so there's a bunch of like spirits and stuff and so she's trying to figure out like what happened where we are right now is this guy I think his name's Thomas I think this guy that we're playing right now is Thomas and then the other guy that we're listening to the memories of is Richard or vice versa I can't remember which but we're in somebody else's memories not playing the main character so <laughs> hopefully that kind of catches you up a little bit um if you have any questions feel free to ask but, but basically we're just going through somebody's memories um and his the person the main character we're playing right now his daughter i think was molested by the guy whose memories were running through they're very unclear about it where it's like what have you done to my daughter so it's like he could have been murdered but it kind of feels like a little bit more weird vibes than that. And so they're going through his memories to figure out like why he did what he did. Uh, I don't know. I'm 
we're supposed to be going. Not that way. Oh, I guess I could just check the footsteps. You took her from me. Right here. <laughs> and it sounds like the little kid's voice that we're hearing had a girl named Rose that he loved and something happened to her. But we're not sure what happened to her. You're welcome. Uh, hopefully the synopsis didn't suck. <laughs> it makes at least some sense. Oh my god, what in the hell? That is not creepy at all. good quick run okay cool glad that i glad that it was a good run <laughs> is that you? oh hell no dude that's your girlfriend i'm not here to shame but that's your girlfriend My precious little love. oh god what is happening <laughs> I'm not here to judge. <laughs> oh no. That seems bad. Alright. Ugh, God. Are we about to shoot something? Oh my God. Dear Lordy Lou. Let's get this over with. Over with? Oh my god, dude. Okay, this is a little kid version, I think. Help! Somebody! Please, help! Over here, kid. Please, mister, I need help. Monster, it's after me! <laughs> Monster? Oh, there's plenty of time. What's going on? What did you do? It's okay, Richard. Why don't you take a moment to catch your breath? Do I know you, mister? You do. Are you one of my stepfather's friends? No, kid. I'm not planning on making any friends. Find you. Richard. Is he trying to help him pass or is he trying to help him remember? It was pretty overwhelming at first. Thomas being like me but different somehow. I don't I don't actually know you. <gasps> oh, bro, there's tentacles coming for you. 
Who says he's trying to help? I don't know. That's what I'm saying. I can't tell if he's trying to help or hurt him. <gasps> There's hands. Yeah, this is so gross. Richard, don't pretend like you're a good guy. Ew. If that's not a creepy line, I don't know what is. What did you get yourself into? No kidding. What did I get myself into? <laughs> An adventure, if that's what. Rose or Lily? Don't say that to anyone. Ever. The one you preyed upon? Oh, ew, 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 this guy. This guy is nasty. Stop acting like you ever cared about her. She was the light of my life. The warmth of my soul. Your soul has rotted away. There's barely anything left. Now, it's just your sins. I almost feel sorry for you. Ah, so is Thomas the creepy guy that's been chasing us? All that creepiness is seriously no zero repentance. Oh. You're not even repentant right now. Why would anybody forgive you? from the red house sorry I read ahead Bro, you're confusing me. Was he a part? Yeah, I don't know. Richard seems to know who you are. Kind of. Or maybe he's just creepy. Or maybe both. Oh, thank God we're not split anymore. I don't... So Richard was the creep. I think Thomas broke. Like, I think, because Thomas can do the split thing that we can do too. That's who we were playing. So I think Thomas somehow, like, got captured by demons and broken or something. I don't think that Thomas is necessarily a creep. I think Richard 100% is a creep, though. With 
zero remorse in him. Creepy asshole. <gasps> oh, are we going to go to the red house? But what happened in this hospital? Jesus Christ. We're just leaving this hospital? Or not hospital, hotel? Resort? Ugh. Thank God we freed Richard from his demons. Alright. Do we take a small detour? Yeah, I think we do. Just in case there's like collectibles. Ah. How did I know it? Hello, my sunshine. Working hard as always. Mr. Rekovitz said there won't be any more guests coming, but that's all right. Still plenty I can help him with. I just wish it was quiet. Why won't it stop talking? I really wish I could see you. Sounds like there might be a memory over here. Yes, hello? Sounds hello? Good. No, don't put him on. It's not worth it. Just tell me if he's okay. Like if someone lit a match in a giant tree. There's rustling in the bushes. I can hear it. Am I right here? It's a no for me, dog. Alright. Oh, uh, we're just about... Okay, this woman makes the worst decisions. Who's going out into the woods in the middle of freaking nowhere? Oh my god. Who would go into these woods? You're leaving a hotel to go into these woods after you just got chased by a fucking oh dude by itself yeah no kidding the all the burbs okay oh, terrible decision making here reclaiming history a late 19th century fort of a great historical significance will soon be renovated and reopened to the public. The works are expected to start next year and last until 1983 with only a flashlight. It's a terrible flashlight too. Look at this flashlight, dude. Look at it. It doesn't even give that much light. Ugh. Wait, can I use this? Oh my god. Oh, this is a terrible idea. I just want you to know. Hello? Is there something I'm supposed to be seeing? I'm gonna start using this just to see. Guess not. Alright, well I'm glad I didn't see somebody like walking around or something. Oh my god, there was a dude walking around at the beginning of this game. I forgot about that. Okay, so at the beginning, when we got to this park and like we got out of our car, there was a guy that got out of his car and we don't see where he goes. So there's a dude somewhere around here. Anyways, my darling, have I ever mentioned Mr. Rekovitz's daughter, Lillian? She turned 16 today. Poor thing, couldn't even have a proper birthday because of that sickness she's got. Anyway, it reminded me of our Anna. Hers is next month, isn't it? Wish I could be there, but Mr. Rekovitz needs me here. Gotta stay. Gotta help him out like he helped me. Love you. Dude, this guy is kind of the worst. Educational trail. Uh, this is terrible ideas. Oh, great. So another creepy guy. That's three so far. Yeah, unless theoretically three, I guess it could have been like Thomas or Richard that we saw at the beginning, but it didn't say who it was. And plus they're both dead and the person we saw was alive. So yeah, I'm going to say three, three scary people. It sounded familiar somewhere. What Something did? From my early childhood, maybe? Bro? Was it even a place or something else entirely? rare tree exhibit all right let's check out this rare tree look at this tree gun this is so rare <laughs> perhaps that was a little too much on the sass on my end all right okay um it looks like this loops in a circle so we're gonna go back up the other way i don't want to miss like a postcard or something you know 
dude you would not i would literally jump off i would find a way to the top of that building and jump off of it you would not catch me running around here <laughs> my dearest it's getting harder and harder to ignore it worst of all you know what i take that back immediately i take that back immediately because there's already a bunch of ghosts here so if you kill yourself in this place i guarantee you turn into a ghost i take it back i would somehow break the front door break out <laughs> break out the front door i don't know throw a brick or something break out go back to the car go back to the car <laughs> i would not be here i don't care who called me on the phone it's getting harder and harder to ignore it. worst of all it's all starting to make sense that girl that poor girl locked up like an animal no child should live like this is she really that sick mr Rekovitz said it's for her own good but i'm starting to wonder i wish i could see you again i love you so much yours Right, straight back to the car and just, nope. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. <laughs> that's what I'm fucking saying, dude. I would be so out of here. I wouldn't be wandering these woods. Oh, the only reason I am wandering these woods is because I have a pause button. <laughs> oh, okay, I see the light. I assume this is where we're supposed to be heading. Oh my god, that bird scared me i thought something was finally coming for me is there anything over here no okay okay oh all right let's head down this camera man oh my so many birds have you never heard of like an ill omen oh my god bro she's like i have to know what is this house what is the red house okay is there something up here no okay Oh my, there's no burning question worth this. Oh, Jesus Christ. The freaking thunder. <laughs> mm -hmm. Cool, cool. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Let's keep going. <laughs> now that we're here. <laughs> Bro. Wait, can I disassociate? Okay, no, I can't. Okay. I was just gonna check the other world really quick. Just for kicks and giggles. Ew. Stupid Nancy drew books. She got spooky bug up her ass. <laughs> yep, we're playing Nancy Drew right now and didn't even know it. Oh, is it cold all of a sudden? That's definitely a good sign, not a sign of ghosts. Oh my, what was that noise? This is a cutscene, I'm safe. She's not safe, I'm safe. <gasps> Jesus Christ. You scared the shit out of me, little buddy. Now we're gonna have to Google if the dog dies. I'm gonna assume no. Oh my god, that's a shoe. Whose shoe is that? Oh hey, wait. Oh yeah, no, we follow the dog here. Dems the rules. Go, come on, follow the dog. You know you're gonna. Wait, oh wait, wait, hold on, dog. I want to read this sign. All right, we're gonna follow the dog. Dems the rules. All right, come on. Can you pet the dog? There I was, following my new best friend. Yeah, new bestie. I remember thinking he could lead me to his owner. In a way, I guess he did. Ew! What does that mean? If you can't pet the dog, quit the game. <laughs> I mean, we did pet the dog in the cutscene, but I have thus far not been able to interact, and I have been pressing the interact button. Pet the dog. Pet the dog. Pet the dog. All right, we can't. All right. All right. Stop barking at me. Oh my god, is this the other creepy person? Everything an elegant chef flush needs. What's wrong, buddy? Oh, let's see what we got here. Yummy. Oh, we can feed the dog. All right. There you go. We've now fed a cat and a dog in this game. Didn't pet either of them. 
should be illegal. Now what? Feeding the dog next to the toilet. What is it for? <laughs> is that not where you feed your pets? You don't you feed your... <laughs> Are you saying you don't feed your dog next to the toilet in the middle of the woods? <laughs> Ridiculous. <laughs> Anyone in there? Bro, you just gonna... What's wrong, boy? Anyone in there? You just gonna call out, let everybody know you're there. <sighs> Woman? Is someone in oh there? Oh my god, he sounds so creepy, too. I'm so sorry. Is that Richard? Hello? I wish I could see you again. No, right? Richard's gone. This guy has an accent, too. Why did I let it out? Oh, this has to be Thomas. This, this, is me. this has to be Thomas, because he let the monster out inside of him. Hey. You all right in there? Bro, you're just calling out? What's it? What? Dude, use your vision or something. I don't know. Do something, bro. Watch there be nothing in the tent. Oh my god, I don't even want to look. Oh, bro. You need a shower or what? Or is he dead? Dead or shower? Dead. He looks drained. Oh, he was also drained. Blotted out from within. Oh wait, is this F? Francis F. Him. For, oh, it's for Francis. Oh, he's the guy that was in charge. Bloody good boy. Is he your friend? Oh, that's sad. Okay, so it's not Thomas, it's Francis. He's the guy that wrote all of the grounds. He was the groundskeeper and then he was like uh, all I wanted was for her to see the sun. I'm so sorry. And then he was like promoted to head of staff, I think. What is it? What is it, bro? You can't just do this to me. Don't gasp like that. He's got pity again. Where? Where? No. Wait. Stay. Dude, the dog better not die. <gasps> Whoever did this voice acting line deserves an award. That was so creepy. Oh my god, just jump off the cliff, dude. Just jump off the cliff. Oh my god. My eyes were watering. That was so creepy. Skinwalker or something. Yeah, jump off the cliff. Run. Oh my god, I hate these running sequences. Oh shit. Oh my god, I hate this guy. No good, no good, no good. I hate this. Skin suit? Bro. Yeah, see, I think this is Thomas, but I think this is the bad version of Thomas that he accidentally let himself out too long or something. Ooh, this is bad. Ooh, this is bad, bad. Run, bitch, run. Run, bitch, run! <laughs> I 
I can't breathe. Bro, you can't ask if it's gone. Because that obviously cues that it's not gone. Oh my god, you can't ask that. <sighs> Dear Lord. Dear Lordy Lou, dear Lordy Lou. <sighs> Whose idea was this? Oh my god, the monster is so obviously not gone. I don't even know why you would say that. Oh my god. He's probably underneath us. Oh no, we'd be able to see him. Oh, oh, oh. Am I supposed to be like balancing? Bro. What? Who's there? Yep, we're just gonna keep heading towards him. Who did I pro- I, I did not promise anyone shit. Oh, is this her this father? Real. You can't evade him. We did promise the father we wouldn't do any risky Jack? shit. Yeah, Jack's her, her father-in-law. Or, I mean, not in-law. Um, her adopted father. What is this? What is this? What is this? <gasps> That's his tie that we put on him. No, I can't take it. I put that on him myself to bury him at the funeral home. Oh no, this is bad news, bro. This has to be a trick, right? It can't actually be him because we saw him pass on. Yeah, I think that's a good. So why are we following the footsteps? <gasps> Where have you sent me? I, I helped you pass on. Yeah. So why are we following this? This is such a bad idea. I can't even see anything because of her body. Oh, bro. <gasps> okay, now you're just hallucinating. No, flashlight, I swear to God, bro. Why can't I run? Why can't I run? What did you do? I can't see anything. Hello? What am I supposed to do with this? I don't even... Yeah, I die here, but I don't even know what I was supposed to do there. That's fine. I, I don't like dying in this game because it's like, the only times I die is when I feel like I couldn't have done anything different. I mean, obviously there is something to do different. And also this game takes forever to load. It's fine, okay. All right. Where have you sent me? Okay, we know that we gotta pull back on that thing. I don't know what we're doing with it, but we gotta pull back on it, so. I also wish it was showing PlayStation controls and not Xbox controls, because I don't know Xbox controls. And I just have to guess the button. It's all your fault. I don't have an Xbox Jack? controller.
So the skinwalker is pretending to be Jack? Alright, now we know what happens here, so I don't have to be scared this time. Alright, we're gonna run. Where? Where do you want me to move my ass? Bolt cutters. Where's the bolt cutters? Open the damn door. Open the damn door, Marianne. Oh god, he's being awfully quiet. Open the damn door. Are you kidding me? This is not how boat cloters freaking work. Run, bitch. Oh, oh my god. This is terrible ideas. A generator. Wonder if it still works. Bro, I don't think this is a good time to find out. Oh, oh my god. Now we gotta get fuel. Are you kidding me? Locked down tight. Oh my god, bro. Like, she doesn't even care she's about to die. <laughs> I know, that's what I was saying. It's like you're running away from this ghost. Hey, real quick, will you do this puzzle? <laughs> I hate it. Okay, wait, is there a door here? Wait, what? Okay, it doesn't look like I can go that way. That's fine. Okay, this looks like fuel, maybe? Dope. Okay. Anything else? Anything else? Okay. Oh my god, my ear is open. There we go. I got scared. Oh, okay, we good, we good. Yeah, I don't think she wants to get out. Come on, Frank. Are you freaking? Oh, that's convenient. Oh, that was loud. Yeah, it was, bro. You've been loud this whole fucking time. Are you kidding me? Enough with the bolt cutters. I know. <laughs> no kidding. She's like, that was loud. Like, she hasn't been fucking yelling every... Bro. 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 Bro, you think she has friends? Yeah, he's got wings. Yeah. Yeah, no, but he can't get me. Clearly, he can't get me. Oh my god, he's gonna jump up at me. I just want everybody to know for the record he's gonna jump up at me here. Okay, cool. Glad we had this conversation. Oh my god. Okay, he did it. Wait, maybe he will here. Stop almost falling, bitch. Oh, come on. It is not that hard. Okay, readjust yourself, bro. Readjust, readjust, readjust. You good, you good. What is this mechanic? I need a Wii board. Give me a Wii board. <laughs> I'll be able to balance way better. Hold your breath.
fucking flashlight. Indeed. Worst flashlight. Zero out of ten. Bro, I can't do anything while you're standing there. What am I supposed to do? <sighs> Can I go around this way? Nope. To the left, yeah, I know I'm supposed to go over there, but I'm scared to walk across when he can see. Oh well. Seriously, bolt cutters right now? Go through the gap, 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 bitch. <laughs> Seriously, with the bolt cutters, though, you know? Oh, she finally whispers. That was cute. No, he doesn't. Don't even lie to me, bro. I didn't, though. Like, I know you're a liar, liar, pants on fire. This voice acting, though. Okay. <laughs> At least uh, seriously. <laughs> I'm so glad we have a lever. <laughs> I think he might be having a hard time over there. I didn't even see what he was scared of. The generator is going to be so loud. This is a terrible idea. Bolt cutters again. <laughs> Can we not make the bridges any quieter? All right, wait. Okay, I got to put the lever on first. Lever. Generator. Get rid of the monster. Need your toenails clipped? Yeah, well, I've got some bolt cutters. <laughs> I mean, I think they'd work in a pinch. You may get your toe ripped off at the same time, but... Dude. Oh. No way. I don't know what I'm supposed to be doing here. I'm just going to keep pushing it. Okay, I can't see it still, so I think I'm fine. Your fucking mouth. Yes! Burn, you twisted fucking bitch! Wait, that actually worked? No way, bro. This is going to be like a Mr. X thing where it comes back again. Did I not just tell her not to ask that question? Because last time she asked that, guess who came back? <laughs> I swear to God. I swear to God. Also, where did the dog go? Do we just have a new dog now? Are we going to get the dog at the end? Because there's no way the dog would have survived this. I get it. Like, we can't have the dog up in here with us. But are we going to get a new pet dog at the end of all of this? Because if it's like you go through all of this, we have a pet dog after, maybe. Maybe. You could convince me. Actually, you couldn't. <laughs> that was a lie. Dude, there's no way. Bro, fucking run. He's still alive. You're not running fast enough for my taste. If you don't think that sound is him... Oh, perfect. I'm glad we're splitting right now. Oh, it's sadness. 
Do you get to let her go? Help her pass on? Sadness. Hoping for the dog, same. I do think we need to like tie up some loose ends with Marianne though. It's okay. I've sent him away. He's gone forever. Really? Really? That used to be your neighborhood, do you remember? Oh, he was such a good father. I think the bad guy is her father. Do you remember him? Like the Sorry, not the bad guy in real life, but the bad guy that's chasing us right now is her father. Oh, is her mom the dancer, maybe? Maybe? Yeah. I'm glad you agree. I'm glad that we're on the same page. That makes me feel less crazy. I'm glad you asked. Thank you. A monster? It's coming, bro. Oh, God, bro. Is that why he called me on the phone? Sorry. Is there more people? Oh, shit. I did not expect that. Okay. <sighs> How is she disappearing? Wait. What is the red house? Are you going anywhere? With me? Yeah. Hmm. This is bad news. Genius. Shit indeed, bro. This whole thing has been shit. It's gone. Ugh. Just when I thought I could finally send her away. Thomas? I really hope you're still out there. I'm sure you really need a break. Dude, I don't think we want Thomas. Okay, we gotta find something to put there. Uh, 
Okay. My hell's my little hell's angel. Hmm. Kind of feels like we're getting close to the end of the game, so I think I'm just gonna keep going. I'm sorry, but like, father doesn't want to punish a stranger. Smart man. He's the manager around here, right? Did you happen to know? Love to have a word with him. Go away, or I'll scream. Clever girl. Any chance that we're Lily? No, right. I don't think so. July 27th, 1986. The Gemini Pit. The investigation is moving along. I think Reckovich is starting to suspect something. We need to move fast. The night's been made. So they knew about this. How was it that they did? And it cleared the hell of Bart? I'm getting a little confused. Oh, hey. A eunuch. Someone's got good taste. Oh, that's great. I'm glad that we have a creepy doll now. This looks like it could lift a pound or two. We don't have something. We don't have a handle, right? No, we've got bolt cutters per usual. You want to talk? This was your bright idea. Mm. Oh, they're already on to us. Mm. That son of a bitch is one of them. I can feel it. Fine, we'll make sure. Come on. It's almost on. One of them. Yeah, what comrade? What happens if we click on this? Oh my god. Okay, we're gonna go out really quick. Because I think that we have what we need for this thing. Oops. Better safe than sorry. Alright, down into a creepy basement we go, I guess. This is my favorite. Oh, wait, what? There's something under that lever. A lever. If only I could lift it. If only you could lift it, okay. Alright, we can't do anything with this, right? It looks like it's in that top corner. Yeah, it looks like it's the handle. What do I do? Okay, let's... We already did this. You know what? I think what I'm going to have to do is I think I'm going to have to go here and do this. Jesus, bro. The spirit. It never stopped. That scared the, the poo poo out of me. Alright, I think we're just gonna have to come back here in a second. Alright, let's do this and let's actually go back here. See if we can go down this way because nope okay all right i was wrong all right something's gotta be out here then let's see if we can find a way up to the second level or something 
Oh, yep, right here. Okay. Wait, was there something on the roof? Oh my god, it, okay, that's fine. Oh, we're, it doesn't matter anyways. Oh, wait. We're just gonna go under this thing, dude. All right. It's chill. Okay. I have a feeling we're gonna have to hide from the guy out here. Maybe I'm wrong. Checking the roof again. There was a hatch, but it was then unlocked. This was the key. The answer was right in front of me, buried in the sand. Okay, no, there's nothing on the roof. Okay, I got scared. I had to check. Okay, let's go over here to this memory thing you think you're tough when you hear them squeal when you smell their bodies burning you'll tell me everything you somebody's angry to listen Did we know Lily? Yeah, this fire was set, Jesus. God damn freaks. You think you're so special? You'll burn just like the rest of us. This is a good question. Who is this? Is this the lighter? Looks like it. This is Thomas. about a government agent, comrade. Oh no, Thomas. Oh no. Oh no, oh no, oh no, oh no. Wake up, I want to slap somebody comrade. awake. Spent a lot of time getting to know you. You kind of act your cat out back in here. Oh, yeah? What's my speedo say? <laughs> Funny guy. Oh, I love this one. Pretty interesting, comrade. Fuck you. Did 
Let's pray together. It's called What Would Tommy Think? So, the Nazis found the Warsaw in the war. What? Do we know? Okay, now we're going to show you. Okay. Let our eyes go to Kaisha. Use the bolt cutters. No kidding. Where are the fucking bolt cutters now that we need them? Those gloves, though. Ew. That's your mom. That was gross. <laughs> you enjoy it, don't you? I can't, believe, I can't believe he got the your mom joke in there. Friend Richard. Get it coming. Yes. I know you want it, revenge. I understand. I would do anything for my child, too. Whatever it takes. Wait. Leave my children out of this. Yeah, chainmail gloves. I want chainmail gloves. I want you to tell me all about you. Who is this? The Nordic! Come on! Enough of this sissy shit! Hit me! I thought you'd never ask. Oh. <laughs> I wasn't really talking to me like that. <laughs> but you'd never ask. Is it like emotional pain? Is that the... Yeah, it sounds like something's on fire. Wake up, sleepy head. Time Dude, this guy is crazy. Maybe this is the bad guy. He did mean emotional pain. I feel like I'm just missing like one piece of information that's gonna make everything make sense. Fucking finally. But it never gets a chance. Okay. Where is it? Thankfully, this place has a way of messing with the time flow. Could be an explanatory statement. <sighs> oh, okay. All work and no play, are you, Henry? Oh, Henry. Let's see what makes you tick. Press X to use no spirit force. Guess I'll just break my own. Oh, this is a new power that would have been convenient. Fuck. 
We're never alone, dude. Oh, shit. This has to be the monster. This has to be it, right? Oh my god. Where is he? Oh, shit. Bro, this is bad. This is bad, bad. This is so freaking red. I can't tell if it's coming through on the stream, but man, it's like so red in the game. It's just like brilliant bright red. Don't slip. Yeah, well, good thing I don't have to. <laughs> I'm not the one control. I just push, I just hold the directional button. Cause if that was me, I would have slipped for sure. For sure, for sure. I would be gone. Oh, is he a detective? Detective Henry? That's my guess. There was a guy that was investigating what happened at the... There you are. At least the part is your master. There was a guy investigating the murders. At the... Neva Resort. Codename Butcher. Suspect Jacob Wilk. Suspected of theft, fraud, illegal trade. Who's typing right now? Henry Wilk. Yeah. Senior constable. Okay, we got a real tape. Alright. Oops. That door just opened. Playing your games, Henry. Do you know the Muffin Man? Don't call me that. The agency was led to believe you've been stealing meat from the working people of the Republic. Where would they get that idea, I wonder? <laughs> you've been a very bad boy. Oh my god. <laughs> to commit your crime it is a crime against the people punishable by death anything to say to your defense I'm sorry Henry yep the door did open Fantastic, just what I like to see. Well, this is quite a hallway. Quite a hallway. It was very rude of that monster to interrupt my sentence. I was just kidding. <gasps> I found it, it's right there. Oh my god. I was just kidding. I was just joshing, yo. I was just playing around. <sighs> Thank god for my fan. It's blowing on my face. Yeah. I said I was just joshing. I was just kidding. I was just playing. Just playing. Oh my god, please let me out. Who keeps typing on typewriters, bro? Ration stamps. Issued by the government of the Polish... I wish I knew, like, this part of history that they're referencing. I'm very lost, to be honest with you. I'm terrible with history, but 
this is, I don't even know what they're even kind of talking about. Ooh, that sounds like a butcher if I ever heard one. All right, looks like I'm gonna have to buy, find. Don't you hide from me. There you are. Bro, no. <gasps> Bro, you can't see me. Can I crouch? I can't crouch. Are you kidding me? Run, bitch. Oh my god, are you kidding me? This is the worst. Where are you, boy? Bad boy! Am I supposed to be running from something? Dude, this feels like a haunted house. Straight. I don't know what I'm supposed to be doing here. I can't even see. I know you're there you are. I have no idea what's happening. Where are you, boy? I can't even crouch. Dude, this is hella nasty. Oh no, are you kidding me? Oh my, dude, this game somehow manages to surprise me with how nasty it is. All the time. <laughs> Up you go. Oh my, this mechanic again? So glad we have this. Oh, there we go. So I assume this police officer was originally a uh, butcher. Where are you, boy? Running away. I was holding right trigger, to be honest with you. I guess they just didn't want me to hold it too soon. Because you can't reload it, I assume. This is... A knife is better than bolt cutters? That is fair, but it didn't let me take the knife. Which is real messed up. Does this not feel like a haunted house? If they made a haunted house like this, I would totally believe it. That's good. See how easy it is when you do as you're told. <laughs> Dude. 
Two worlds. Okay, patriotism stronger than blood. Not often do we see patriotism of such quality as was displayed during these past weeks by senior constable Henry Wilk. A simple officer of the civic police, Wilk showed his commitment to building a righteous tomorrow of the People's Republic by rejecting the shackles of his criminal kinship. His daring investigation into the new infamous meat scandal led to a number of arrests, including one Jacob Wilk, Henry's own father. The irregularities uncovered by Officer Wilk included corruption, theft of high-quality meat products, and replacing them for lesser ones. Apart from Jacob Wilk, numerous other culprits have been apprehended, including four directors of socialized meat trade and several store managers. Trial is to commence this coming Thursday, and if the accused are found guilty of their crimes, they will most likely face execution by hanging. When asked for comment, Henry, or sorry, Officer Henry Wilk's response was simply, I only did what felt just, truly, the words of a patriot. This is what we call a narc. Okay, so he should theoretically be alive still. Or he could be alive, but he would be old. Am I supposed to do something else over here? Hello? What is happening? Oh yeah, that made perfect sense. Locked, okay. Oh. You want me to feel sorry for you, Henry? Let's see how that works out. Oh, there we go. I was like, there has to be something else. Oops, I pressed the wrong button. Mubby. Milk, is it? It's late. Henry, milk. What's this about? Straight to the point. No fear, no hesitation. If you wanted me dead, I'd be dead already. So, what do you want? I want to offer you a job. I'm listening. I've been so am I, I'm listening as well. I've come to know people. See what makes them tick. See their potential. Mm-hmm. Agreed already. What? The work I What's the job? It stays at work. That's the way we like it. It has to. If it doesn't, I'm holding you accountable. Welcome to the family. They're family now. Jesus. What a hell of a job. Where's the monster? Listen, I was just playing around last time. We don't have to fight. We can be friends. I was just joshing. Teehee. Nope. Can you run any slower? Any slower. Dear God. It's a whale. Yeah. 
Moby Dick. Jesus Christ, dude. Run. That is so loud, dude. I know he's like in a hurry, but like also. Okay, let's see. Special assignment from Major Henry Wilk. A person of interest has been found at the Neva Workers Resort near Krakow. Local investigators had reported a, of a strange case involving the painter classified. The person was found alive but in a vegetative state. Oh, I assume that's Richard. Um, foul play was suspected, but examination didn't show signs of brain trauma possible connection to the Gemini case consulted the classified files keep it clean keep it quiet this is what we've been training you for no I strongly recommend that you acquaint yourself with the Soviet scientist notes we acquired during classified in 1950 you've been granted access to archive entry 1138 this is for your eyes only Wilk dig in report your case officer for further briefing huh so they're looking for Thomas but I assume the vegetative state person is Richard. The subject continues to manifest strong supernatural powers. He claims that another blink is talking to him, showing visions. Working theory suspe suspected connection to blink, possibly established as a result of a near-death experience. More tests necessary to confirm the split theory. Huh. All right. So that's notes about him when he was, like, captured. Get up, get up, get up, get up, get up, get up, get up. Get up, get up. Oh my god. Just hug it out. That's what I keep saying. I keep, this is what I say for most of these games. It's like, if somebody just, like, were to just admit that they needed a hug, that they needed a hug, everything would be okay. Um, session 43. Today's session halted prematurely due to an incident in the test chamber. While administering prescribed substances, lead scientist Dr. Blank came into skin-to-skin -skin contact with the subject. Blank was promptly hospitalized. Despite showing no signs of physical trauma, he fell into a vegetative state from which he is yet to recover. Further sessions have been halted indefinitely. Okay, I assume again that this is about him. Just, just. Just let me read. Forty-four reminder for today's rescheduled session. Despite increased dosage, the subject remains extremely dangerous and needs to be restricted both physically and mentally for the duration of the test. Heightened security measures apply. <gasps> this is bad news. Oh my god, dude. Wait, there's more than one? Or just the one? And the, that one fucker is everywhere. Can we please clarify this? Because I need to know if I'm looking for more than one enemy. Oh, did you see it save right there? The game saved right there. In case anybody was wondering. Oh! <gasps> I mean, I guess that was like a half a boss fight. I'll take it. I'd rather than that that than than be chased by a weird horse beast monster. I guess we'll see if there's more than one monster.
Saddest boss fight ever. <laughs> I guess there's more than one. That definitely didn't scare me. <laughs> Dude, I love how he's so casual about like these crazy stunts that he's pulling. Avada. Good thing I don't have work tomorrow. That was sarcasm. Ugh, I'm gonna need to watch an episode of Steven Universe or something after this. Get me up here, can you? Dude, don't ask that. Oh my god, don't taunt it, please, for my sake. Oh my god, this game is making me so sweaty. Like, because I get scared. I get hot when I get scared. <laughs> okay, there's a door. Is this his kid? And again, I'm not sure. Do you think I should? I'm pretty much scared. Simon? Oh, now there's a sword. Where are you, boy? I get back, we can go fishing. Now, you'd like that, wouldn't you? I don't like it when you go. I know. But sometimes daddy needs to work. It's good for all of us. You understand, don't you? Hmm. I yes, father. Okay, this sequence is getting a tiny bit long, I'm not gonna lie. I think it's the slow run for me. Dude, what is this evil building? If you've ever been on like r slash evil buildings, I feel like this is like on that subreddit for sure, right? Instead of Steven Universe, you should watch Dead End. Okay, I will add that to my list. I have my iPad in my lap. Oh, that's my list right now. Hold on. Give me a second. Dead end. Paranormal Park. Okay. Added to my list. Thank you for the recommendation. I love Steven Universe, but I've seen it like three or four times now. It's very much like a, I just keep watching it because I uh, get scared when I play these games. Anyways. Thank you. Let's see. Why is he locked up? Just in time. Miss 
try, kid. Come to me. I'll put an end to it. I'll set you free. No, it won't let us leave. The monster is Don't worry about the monster, kid. Don't worry about the monster. <laughs> I'll put it down for good. I can put you down for Oh shit. What did you say to me? He needs a new haircut. Is this the skinwalker? <gasps> Slap that freaking gun out of his hand. <laughs> oh, okay, I'm gone. Marianne! Marianne is who we're playing. do to her what did you do to Lillian There was a lot of crazy people in the resort.
This is a different monster than the Skinwalker, though. Where'd that guy go? Is he actually dead? So who do we have left? We have Lillian, Thomas, Rekovich. and Thomas and her, and then whoever's interviewing her. My father. Where's the mother too? He the man I have killed. The man with the gun. The murderer from my. That's a good question. I needed to know what happened after the fire. What happened to them? She's secretly dead. Just kidding. Is that where she got the photo? Looks like it. Where's Sadness? Or Lily? I guess. What's happening? Are we just... Staring? Unravel the secrets of Thomas's home. Oh wait, we already did that. Oh. It looks like there's something under the floor. Okay, Marianne. Look. Okay, we can switch that way. can still make out some of it. Alright. I found my father. Oh, he that. stabbed the same thing as Lily. Left behind. Forgotten. Has to be the mom and dad. Okay. We're gonna do as much as we can over here before we switch. Bro, we don't mess with the house. Thank you. This is the real question. Oh my god, bro. We don't mess with the houses. Another photo. Well, if there's one, we could just leave them lying around. They're your family photos. Of course you should take them. Yeah, a scrapbook? Dude, this can't be that. All right. Sorry, I'm getting real sassy. The dollhouse thing really got me. I was real mad about it. Oh, we're gonna have to use the knife. Does this unlock the dollhouse? Sass is always fun. <laughs> That's true. <laughs> Alright, let's take the butterfly, I guess. Oh, can I not use it here? What the heck? What am I supposed to do here? So 
Hello. Oh, you... Let's check. Doesn't look like there's anything else over here. Oh shit. Huh. Looks like a replica of the actual thing. Oh, that's cute. Mm -hmm. Looks like I could put something here. Hmm. The pain in the neck. What? Oh no. Oh my god, are we gonna go- Are we gonna go in the mirror and it goes somewhere else? <gasps> I knew it! The dolls, uh, the mirrors, it's all connected. We don't mess with dollhouses. This dollhouse feels like we shouldn't be here. Astute observation. Let's just go ahead and cut this nasty thing while we're here. Hey. Another butterfly. Another one of those. I, I hate you. All of you. None of you know. None of you understand. Is this sadness's Lily? I don't know what to call her. There is something under here. Well, let's cut it open. This is so nasty. So glad we're messing with the doll. Why is that pillow clean? I'm gonna be honest with you. My concerns right now, we're messing with the dollhouse. We're messing with dolls. Okay, and then maybe the third thing is the pillow. <laughs> I'm just being honest here, you know? I'm real concerned about this uh, dollhouse hoodoo voodoo. Yeah, I'm trying not to think about the damn dollhouse. Oh, my bad. Sorry. I can't stand the look she gives her. She hates her because of what happened to you. She thinks it's her fault, as if she did it on purpose. She's still too young. She needs time to understand. But sometimes I'm afraid. Afraid she'll do something to her. I keep telling myself she would never. But then again, I know better than everyone, Ed, or better than anyone, everyone has their demons. That's probably Thomas talking about Marianne. Or Marianne. Marianne. Marianne? Marianne. Would be my guess because it seems like Lily did not inherit the same powers that, that she did from her, from her papa. Probably your room, bro. Guess that means four butterflies. Oh. The egg sack really, cutting I... is disgusting. No, it was not my fault. What the hell is happening to me? 
it wasn't her fault, but. All right, let's go back to the main room and check out the order of butterflies. Okay, red and then other red. I got it. Okay, red. Oh, yeah, no, that was the right one. Red and then white. Oops. Red. Bro, I keep pressing the wrong button because I don't know what button I'm freaking pressing. No, the white goes there. Red goes there. We're just gonna go blue and yellow. Okay, that's fine. We'll switch. We'll switch the blue and the yellow. It's fine. It's not a big deal. Yellow and then blue. It's not a big deal. What? Did that not do it? Wait, was that other thing upside down? It wasn't, right? Hold on. Let's go check it again. No, it wasn't. See? So it's red and then white. Oh, wait. Or is that yellow? That might actually be the yellow. Hold on. Let's go check out the, the shape of the yellow. That actually might be the yellow. Oh, yeah, it is. That's my bad. Yellow. White. No, no, no. Oh God. At least the friends that Sadness was talking about. Anything else here? All right, we're getting out of here. See you later, alligator. Let's go back to here. supposed to do something with this? I don't think I understand what's going on over here. Maybe I'm supposed to do something with the other fireplace. Let's go back to the other fireplace. Is that my guess? Oh. Let's, let's look at them. I pressed the wrong button. Okay. Let's put the, this one here. Let's put this one here and put this one Never here. The Rekovich family history. Mm. I hope she picks up those. I hope she gets those photos again and brings them back with her. I mean, it looks like she had one of them, but I hope that she brings them back because they're family photos, you know? An emotional graveyard. It's like an elephant graveyard, I think is what she meant. Yeah, no, the, the cutting mechanic is my least favorite mechanic. At least the egg one is, like, really fast. You know? It's, like, over and done with. When you do that whole wall thing, it's, like, it takes forever. Oh, so nasty. Did I go to the wrong spot? Oh no, it's right here. Okay. We can show them. We can make them understand. Make them feel what it's like. 
Wait, so is Sadness the bad guy the whole time? No, no, she's my sister. Then set me free. And I will save you both. Oh, she set the monster free? Ah, <laughs> oh my. Shit. Downstairs. its way out with our lives. Lily. She... I need to find her. Very magical. But I can see my dad coming. A matter of time. Well, that's a good name for a watch shop. 1976. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. Oh, is this bolt cutters? Bolt cutters. Good thing we didn't throw them away, huh? Wow, those ones are strong. That took five cuts. Happy anniversary. Ten years. Time flies, huh? Here's a little something to help you keep track of. Oh, I love you, you big dummy. It's from the mom, then. Where's Marinera? She needs to stay at the hospital a while longer. Will she be all right? I want to see her. She's asleep, honey. The doctors aren't sure when she's going to wake up. Oh, no. I was in a coma. That's why I couldn't remember anything. Oh, that's perfect. Lily, listen. You have to come with me now. Daddy, Wh where are you taking me? I'm sorry, baby. Wait, did he kill Lily for real? I'm so sorry. Please. What the hell did you do to her? She's sick, but it's not physical. He was right. That terrible night, something is awakened. Something was born inside her. It's eating her from the inside, preying on her strength. Her little body withers. I have to do something. We need to do something. Wait, so did the skinwalker come from her originally? Where's the dog? I forgot about the dog. Where the hell is the dog? You were locked in, alone? No. We were not alone. No? Who else was there? The voice. And I, I didn't invite it, but it came anyway. Oh, Lily. Anything else over here? I don't know that's where I came from. Goodness gracious. He's out there somewhere, that much I know. Hell, the fact I'm still here, or sitting here writing this and not drooling in the corner is proof enough. I gotta, I just gotta find him. Funny, I always wanted to be crossed out alone, the only one. Now I'm starting to think there were never really two of us. Maybe we were just always two sides of the same coin. Either way, I need him. I need myself to save her. So he like split up with his other half. Okay, today is her birthday, 2702. Always brings me back to that moment, the first time I saw her, that wonderful tiny creature. At that time, I'd do anything to be 
to just be her dad, to silence that other part of me. And now I'm desperately trying to bring it back to help her, to save her. I think I finally figured out a way. It's risky, but it's our only chance. If it fails, no, it will work. It has to work. Okay. Bro. I don't want to go over there. Okay. Alright. In we go. Into this creepy hole. Anything down here? Jesus. Look back here. Looks like it's melted. Solid steel. Combination. Hmm. It has to be the birthday, right? Hold on. Let's check the birthday. What was it? 227? I think it was. Okay. I think it was February 27th. So let's go. It's 2702. I'm going to try it the other way. 02. Seven. Okay, wait, is it the... Wait, do we have a copy of the note? The love note? Okay, so it's not that. So I'm going to check for the other thing, which I think is the... It's in here. When's the anniversary? Ten years, okay, that's not helpful. I mean, it could be 1976, 19, 1966? Maybe we should try that, 1966? Maybe? Let's just try it. One, nine, six, six. Oh, <gasps> I am such a smart cookie. Oh, we're going to split right now. Bro, that's my question. It's done. They'll never know. They can never know. They wouldn't understand. They would never forgive me. But they are safe. That's what matters. Separation. It's the only way. All right. What is this place? Some sort of a burial chamber? I don't know, dude. Ah, here we go. Here's the long one. You've been warned. Look away. Ugh. Those ones are just so long. There's a door here. Uh oh. Dude, what in the world is this place? This is all under her family home? Are you serious, dude? What is over here? Okay, so there's a way down, there's a way up. Let's go up first.
that a problem? Just swim. Seriously? Okay, wait, I want to go back and go to the other stairs. See what happens. Just, what the fuck was that? Random guitar. This thing. Where does this go? Lower level this way. Then <laughs> Bro, I don't care if you can't swim in this situation. I would be out of there. I would be drowning myself to try and get out. Are you, I can't, I'm not much of a diver. I would hate to get dirty in this situation, you know? <laughs> Hi, Fox. <laughs> yeah, it is all kind of nasty. I'm sorry. Can you imagine being like, I know I'm about to die, but I'm not much of a diver. Like, fucking let me out. <laughs> let me out, dude. Oh. Pump it up. When we first stumbled upon the site, we thought it was just an old German bunker, couple corridors, maybe some outdated supplies. Two weeks of excavation later, we know that old funny mustachio must have had big plans for this place. Uh, I'm sorry. Um whole system of underground tunnels, reinforced concrete walls, the whole shebang. Guess he wanted to have himself a little forest retreat in case the whole master race thing didn't work out. <laughs> the commies did what they did best, stolen it for themselves. They wanted to repurpose it for a full-on nuclear shelter. They even got a power grid going, but that's as far as they got before the dream of Neva went to shit. Luckily for me, the entire thing was very hush-hush, and I made sure it stayed that way. As far as I know, most people who knew about it died in the massacre. I wouldn't exactly call it silver lining, but still, if things go south, we should have a place to live. Excuse me, lay low. Ooh. Well, Whoa. out of juice. Because, of course it is. I'm so glad she said that. Because I was just about to say that. So proud. Wait, is this a circle? Did we just go in a circle? Hold on. <gasps> we did! Interesting. Okay, this is the one door. Should have fixed it. Puzzle time. Looks like both the retention tanks are closed off. Radioactive will get down there and open them. Wait, what do you want me to do? Oh no, these tanks are closed off. Okay, so it wants me to get rid of the central chamber, I think. Okay, we'll try that. Okay, let's get a load of 
Okay, so I have to go... Let's check out this room really quick, see what's going on, because this is... Oh, that's the electricity thing. Do you think that's for when a monster's chasing me? Do you think I turn the electricity on? Be honest with me. Yeah, okay. Thank you for your honesty. Wait, what am I supposed to do here? Do I just not understand? The oh, that's hella nasty, bro. Maybe I need to just move it all over to the one side. Let's try it. So, wait, wait, what? Oh, okay, I gotta press this button twice. Oh, there's instructions. I'm gonna be real with you right now. I'm gonna be real real with you. It is almost 2 a.m. And I have to spend at least 30 minutes winding down so I don't have nightmares. I'm gonna have to call it here. <laughs> I'm gonna have to call it here. I was trying to make it. I really was. But hearing that voice again. It's gonna be a no for me, dog. How long ago was it? It's only three minutes, okay. <sighs> okay, we're gonna call it. I will, I'm streaming every day this week, so we'll be finishing this tomorrow. I'll probably start streaming, um, I will probably start streaming around like nine, maybe 10 Pacific time. Um, so yeah. You want to come hang out for the finale i'm sure we'll finish it off tomorrow um i'm sweating <laughs> i can't do it i'm so sorry <laughs> but i will come back tomorrow um and like i said i'll be streaming scary games all week um to celebrate halloween um so definitely come hang out um i will check out dead end paranormal park um, and then if you want to come chat with me about it tomorrow, I'm not going to watch the whole thing, obviously, because that's, that's crazy. I don't got that kind of time, but I'll check out an episode, maybe two, depending on how busy work is tomorrow. And then we can chat about it. Thank you again for the recommendations. Thanks to everybody who hung out. Um, I visited, Amon visited, um, Bloodmore One visited, Foxfire, as always. Uh, their beautiful self is always just up in here and I freaking adore you. So I'm going to go ahead and call it here. I will see you guys tomorrow night. And now I'm going to awkwardly unplug everything so I can alt tab out. <sighs> I should have thought about the goodbye before. Okay, for reals, goodbye. <laughs>